guys what's going on welcome back to another brand new android studio tutorial and today in this video i will show you that how to animate the things inside android application so yeah let's get started so first of all we have a blank project in the android studio with the name animation app what we have to do in order to animate a item or a layout or something else in the android application is that you will have to just create a animation resource file which contain the animation so we know that android uses the java programming language so in that case we have the xml and java so first of all in the xml part we have to just create a xml xml file with the animation inside that and uh, in the java we are going to animate the item inside the java class so first of all what we have to do is that uh, i have a i have in my website I have, i'm just writing a new post uh, regarding this animation and uh, inside the website i will be adding the codes you actually required for the animation so we have the fade in and fade out right now and i'm actually writing the complete post all you have to do is simply just go to the website and the link will be below this video and once that done you can simply copy the your preferred item of uh, animation so we have the fade in fade out and i'll be also adding the slide and uh, scaling and something like that in the after just recording this video so once you just selected your preferred item you can simply just copy it like this I click and copy that and once you copy it just go to Android studio and uh, now what we have to do is that we have to create a new folder under the resources so that is going to be uh, anim folder which stands for the animation so right click on the rest folder go to new and now go to the directory and simply create a folder with name anim and click on the OK now what you have to do is just right click on the anim folder so whenever you type anim the android studio can easily identify that it is going to be a folder that contain the animation resource files so well, likewise when you go to the new you can see it, it's already saying that animation resource file so just click on that and give your animation any name as you wish and in my case i just want to give it as something like um, so right now in my clipboard I have the animation for the slide animation so I'm going to just add it as my slide underscore animation you can give any name as you wish and once it is done you can uh, yeah you have to make sure that you're only using the lower case so my slide animation clicking on the OK now we have a animation file so as I said before you have to simply copy the your preferred animation code from here and uh, you can paste it completely just select all and paste it instead of the first one now you will have something like this so this is going to be the animation code for the sliding so this is from top to bottom so i just want to use this thing and they will be also adding this animation in my website post so once that done you all you have to do is you have to just go to your activity and uh, from here you have to make sure the item you want to just animate i have an idea in my mind like animating the text view or animating the layout itself so let me show you i just want to just add a relative layout and animate it okay guys so now as you can see i just created a new layout file that is a relative layout i also changed the color of this background of the main relative layout and uh, also changed the color of secondary relative layout so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to animate this relative layout when the application is just turned on so we have to simply add the codes inside the one create method which is going to call when the application is turned on so i want to just add a id so id is going to be like now if you want you can also just leave the color as black or white itself now that's it and uh, the animation the content of animation is according to you if you want to animate the text then you can simply add a id for the text and call it inside the main activity so in my case i just want to animate the layout file so i'm going to add an id into that now we have to add the reference inside the main activity okay so i have added the reference for this relative layout so what we have to do next is that we use this animation item to just animate the relative layout so what we have to do is that we have to simply add the reference for the animation so animation my animation or anything as you wish and using an animation utensils we are going to animate it so utensils dot load animation and inside the load animation you can see context then the animation id so context is going to be this or a get activity or get application context if you're using the fragment layout to animate then you can simply change it into get activity 
So I just want to go with the get application context as we are in the stable activity. Now, comma, now we have to just add the animation resource file. So r.anim.myslide animation. So yeah, that's it. Now we are ready and uh, we have to animate. Finally, we have to animate the relative layout. So my rel layout, then set animation, then my animation, and that's it. Now, if you're running the application, you will find the animation will be coming from the top to bottom or uh, yeah, yeah, top to bottom. So when the application is turning on, it will be showing the white background, then uh, instantly it will be going to just slide the relative layout from top to bottom or bottom to top something like that now uh, if you want you can also just add the animation listener so let me show you my animation dot set animation listener so using the set animation listener method you can just check whether the animation is completed if the animation is started and uh, the animation is uh, just had its state so for that we have to add the new then animation listener and now it will be automatically creating these three method animation start animation end then animation repeat so if you want to just make sure that study the animation is started then you can simply just make a toast saying that the animation is started you have to and if you want you can also add in all other cases so in my case i just want to show a toast when the animation is just finished so toast i want to add it as animation finish it. and that's it now we are ready and we have added all the things required and once again I'm saying that you can add anything and you can uh, instead of this layout file you can add a button or a text view or anything as you wish and animate it according to your preference so that's it now let's go and give it a try in an Android device okay guys so we have the Android app in the Android device so let's turn it on and blam you can see the application is turned on and the animation just worked perfect and finally we got a toast message saying the animation is done so if you like this video then give it a big thumbs up and if you have any kind of questions regards then you can ask in the comment section below as always thanks for watching and i hope to see you in my next video